Welcome everybody back to the channel. Today I want to show you guys how to get packs for Team of the Season, for Team of the Season Live, for Team of the Season, Bundesliga, Premier League, whatever you guys want to get. I think, um, honestly, it's really easy to get a ton of packs. So I want to explain to you guys every single way you guys can achieve to get packs and save packs and don't open them and wait for the specific Team of the Season you guys want. And before I show you guys, please subscribe, please like the video, it does help me out. And we're trying to grow this channel to 600 subscribers, so I really do appreciate it in advance. Now, let's get started. First thing I want to do, go over something that everybody should have been doing, should have done, um, should be doing, should not be behind on, um, you know, set, you know, alarm on your phone, whatever it is you got to do, the team of the season warm up daily login. Download the companion app, go on the web app, go on your console every day, do it, put a, some, put a bronze player, boom, easy and you're done, right? It's easy like that. Second, we're going to go, we're going to go very fast for this video. Do your daily bronze, daily silver, daily gold. Make sure you do that. I think I've said that in every single video of how to make packs and player picks. Make sure you do that every single day, repeatable four times. You get 44 golds and four rare golds. It's going to help out for what we got to do next. And so we're going to go to upgrade still. Um, <clears throat> I would say do the player picks and then turn them into the 82 by 11. The reason being is because you could turn in the gold upgrade that you did. You can open up those gold upgrade packs, submit them into the 81 plus player picks. The 82s, 83s, and then you want to try to get, you know, the bigger walkouts because I believe this squad takes an 85. Yeah, so you need an 85 rated team to turn into this. So you need nine 85s and two 84s. Or if you have, you know, 87s and you want to turn this in, I do think that's a good option. Like get some 87s from the player. Pick. Let's say you get an 87, 88 card from the player pick. Turn that 88 or 87 to here. And then you can put some 83s, 84s. And it's really easy to complete it when you get when you do that. So I would suggest doing that as well. Now we have the 83 by 10. Now what I will say from this one, team of the weeks are are out of are are now not are no longer going to be in the team of the week um tomorrow, I guess, or whatever. You know, you do get you guys know what I'm saying. The, the, they're no longer be in the packs. And these these are not repeatable, you know, tomorrow, I guess, you know, 21 hours they expire. So by the time I'm recording this, if you have the time to, I would very highly suggest doing this as well. Um but I am I do want to check one thing. Okay, so the 8310 is still repeatable three um, another day. So if you guys have, and this is also if you guys don't have any cards in your club, right? If you guys have clubs in, or cards in your club, I suggest doing the 82 by 11. It's going to be a really popular pack for when these team of season comes out. I would really suggest getting that, especially for the team of season live because this is the FX pack, right? So it's going to be every single Premier League, every single card that's in the team of the season is probably going to have a card on team of the season live. So I would suggest opening this pack for team of the season live. Um, the campaign player picks, no one cares about that stuff. All right. It's, it's team of the season time. No one cares about these icons anymore. It, we're moving on. We're tough. We're on to three play style pluses now. Okay. We don't need any of these anymore. So what I would suggest is make sure you favorite those, um, rewards into your, your, your player pick the 82 by 11, make sure you favorite them. If you don't know how to favorite them, put the press triangle or Y, whatever console you're on. Now the 85 players pick, I would honestly, I would try to avoid the reason I say that, right? is because you can't open up i would do it okay if anything i would do this at the very end of my night let's just say because when you have a player pick and you want to save it for team of the season you can't open any more packs at all okay so you're pretty much forced to open that pack or the player pick if you want to open the 82 by 11 if you want to open um you know your gold upgrade packs so make sure you do your gold upgrade packs first your daily login sbc first because you're not gonna be open up you're not gonna be able to open up any single pack Unless once you have this 85 player pick, unless you choose to open that, but no one wants to open that right now. You want to save that for when team of the season lives out. So that's just some, I'm telling you guys, make sure you guys do that at the end. Um, and I'm going to post this as soon as I can as well. So you guys have time to see this and, and you know, you guys can plan ahead. Now, one thing I will say too, is make sure you guys are doing the, the daily, when you do the daily login, you're going to get some packs. Like I, like I have here, I'm a little, I'm thinking I'm one behind, but it's, it's still fine. You get XP. You get some some packs, really low, really low rated cards, right? 81 by 2, 82 by 2, 80 by 5. Not the greatest packs, but those cards go into the 81 plus player pick. They go into the 83 by 10. They go into the 84, the 85 plus player pick because you need 84s in there. And you just repeat the process and grind all the way up, right? It's like a ladder of grinding. You just grind the lower cards, then the mid tier, and then you get to the high tier with the 85 plus player picks and the 83 by 10s. So get those cups. Or sorry, get those done. And then next, we're going to move on to the cup. I haven't done it on this account or my other, but it's really easy, guys. I know it says win 10. You guys might be like, I suck or I'm not the greatest. Just just play it, guys. It's unlimited. 
right? It's unlimited amount of games per day. Like you don't, there's no limit on it. It's you have you have a whole week to complete. Do this during Team of the Season Live. If you get, I do think it's really worth it. it I I know it's a friendlies and, and and you don't really want to sweat and try that hard. But I promise you, if you guys play enough, you guys are gonna get the packs. And it's just part of the grind. You're gonna get XP. You're gonna get a thousand XP. You're gonna get some decent packs again. You get some prime players packs for each um, FX league. Really do think it's worth it. And an 84 by 5 at the end of it. I do think everyone should do that. Now we have the warm-up and win, um, which I will recommend again. A lot of you guys probably have already been doing this. Like I said, on this account, I haven't really been grinding that hard. 14 a season, I've been doing it on mostly my main account. Um, but it's funny because this one's kind of my main account. But anyways, that's a long story. So get 25 wins, get these five cards, and put them all into your team. Win three, do it on squad battles if you want. And then you get an 84 by 3. You, you also get you know, packs when you get these cards, right? A three Bundesliga player pack, um, women and men's, and then you get the same thing for, you know, for everyone else. You know, La Liga, Serie A, Barclays, Premier League, Liga. So I think everybody should do that as well. And then we have the team of season opening, right? So this is just something you probably everyone's already had as well, just because this has been out for a little bit of time. If you guys haven't been playing, I do recommend playing. You guys are probably going to knock this out during champs as well. If champs qualifiers, champs um, finals. I think you guys will be able to do this. Save all these packs for whatever team of season you want. If you don't care about team of season live, then I would just save, hold on to packs and wait till team of season that you guys are, you know, really care about. I think that's probably the best option as well. Make sure you do your daily play and then you get your daily play completionist. You get a ton of XP right here as well to help you out with the season progress. Um, there's the Golasso goal master. I'm behind on this account, like I said, so don't look at that. There's the champs masters um, or champs bonus, sorry, where you get some pretty good packs actually in 83 by 5 81 by 11 84 by 3 are really solid 85 by 2 as well so i'm gonna be playing champs on this account we get an 84 20 at the end honestly a lot of people can't get the 84 by 20 because it's really hard to win 75 games within what was it four weeks or something it might might not be the easiest for everyone so don't worry about that don't stress out about it um but yeah you're gonna get xp stuff like that if you guys haven't been doing the objective cards or the season progress cards i think you're missing out on a ton of xp and packs so if you have that and you haven't been completing that, I think you guys should now because the team of the season is now going to be the, the way, right? And you can get yourself a Kolomwani who's actually very, very good in game. Um, now we have like milestones. I mean, these are, I wouldn't really stress about this for sure, honestly. You're going to get them when you get them, right? Score 200, score in 200, 200 separate matches. I just, I haven't even been focusing on that. You guys just get that from playing. Don't worry, even stress out about it. Um, this does remind me, draft. If you guys don't have any, if you guys have draft tokens, Play the draft, like play online, play offline, whatever you guys choose to. Just make sure you guys get some type of packs. Um, if you guys really want coins, I would suggest going for the online because the packs are just so much more better, so much better um, when you play online. If you're not the greatest player, I think you guys just play offline and just try to win the whole thing and get a decent pack at the end. That's something I would recommend if you're, um, if you have a champs token. I wouldn't pay the fifteen thousand coins. I would just enter the token. I would just enter the draft if you have a token. If you don't, don't worry about it um store pack i think you have a 10 coin pack every single day we've, we've had this week for because of the team of season promo so if you guys go to browse go to promo packs you get your daily 10 coin pack it's in the promo i know it's hard to find i don't know why they moved it too it was way different before um is that a team of the week oh my gosh and that's why you want to open your 10 coin pack guys because you're gonna get yourself an 89 diani that or a Nate and sorry, her 89 is the gold card. Her 90 rated in from Diani, which is actually crazy. So I'm gonna be using that for an 83 by 10, possibly. Um, I mean, nah, I don't actually I don't know. Because I don't know if I want to see her for that. But anyways, yeah, go ahead and do that. Make sure you guys open up your your preview pack, because you never know you might pack another inform in there that's tradable and sell that or keep it. Whatever it is. Or I'm gonna pack something. Nope, nothing good in there. But yeah, that's probably those are probably some of the best ways for sure. And what I will say too is not this week, but I believe next week they're gonna change the rewards for champs or sorry for squad battles. And I think they're gonna introduce team of the season cards in here. So if you guys are offline players, don't like to play online, you know you guys are more PVE rather than PVP, then I think I do suggest going hard on squad battles because I think it's not. I don't think it's gonna be worth it if you're in like in silver or gold. I think you have to be an elite. You know, two or three, two, one, one of those. Um, the top 200 is full of hackers, so don't be mad about that. Or sorry, don't stress out about getting to top 200. Just be mad at the fact that there's hackers on the game. But I do think you guys, it's worth it. It's going to be worth it, in my opinion, to play offline 
very, very soon. Especially if you guys are, are going to do Evos during Team of the Season, just knock it out in, in squad battles. Get your as many points as you can. Play on, you know, professional, world class, or legendary, or whatever you guys can play on. Something to where it's worth it to grind uh, evolution cards while you're doing squad battles to get Team of the Season cards. Um, it's not going to be this week. I believe it's next weekend. So ne starting next weekend, um, grind, 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 wow. grind out squad battles because they're going to introduce Team of the Season rewards during squad in squad battles. So that's really thing a good thing as well. as well. Sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. Division rivals, okay, guys. Um, I know this is not this is not really this week because the rivals rewards did go away. Oh, sorry, already got claimed this week. But prepare yourself for the next weekend, right? Because if you guys don't care about team of the season live, it's not that much of a stress. What I will say is make sure you get your seven wins every week. Make sure you take untraded. If you want coins, go take a, go take tradable. If you want the chance of getting more team of the season, more fodder, more SP to complete SPCs during the team of the season, get the untradables every single time. Because ever since they introduced the new, the new season rewards or division rivals rewards last week or two weeks ago, it's been it's been like no brainer to take untradables. You get I'm in division three on this. I mean on division four, my other account, my division three or two. I don't even remember. But th but the rewards are just so much better out up here, right? It's it's so much better. You don't want to sandbag anymore. It's all about moving up in the divisions. You're gonna get yourself. An 87 by 4, an 85 by 10, like, and then rare golds, prime golds, jumbo rare players pack, um, XP, right? So I do think it's worth it. I know it's stressful to play rivals, but I think it's definitely worth it in the long run. If you're an elite, which is an insane, 87 by 8, 85 by 10, or by 14, that's insane, guys. This is, these, are, these are insane rewards, honestly. Um, but that's if you want the better chance of packing team of the season, right? And that's something you guys already could have been doing, like I said. Um, other than that, I think I've already kind of gone, kind of gone over everything to get packs. Um, we still have, like I said, the upgrade packs. There's going to be more to come during Team of the Season when it actually gets released. And there's also going to be SBCs released. So hopefully there's going to be a ton of fodder for people to pack. I really do think champs and rivals are like the best options right now. Because the rivals rewards, like I said, get the untradables. You're going to get so much fodder. You play champs, you're going to get Team of the Season player picks. Even if you do get the max 90 rated, a 90 rated card is still a huge help. And one thing I'm going to say too, exchanges are going to expire tonight or tomorrow. I wonder what they're going to do with exchanges. I have no idea what they're going to do. Hopefully they make like 91, 92s because of Team of Season. Maybe you could put in a Team of Season there and get like an 83 by 10. I don't know if that's crazy or not, but I think it's kind of worth it. But we'll see what EA does with that if they bring it back. I hope they bring it back and don't get rid of it for, for life forever. But I think they're going to bring it back and make something different. But... I mean, that's just my hope, actually. I don't even know for sure. But hopefully, hopefully that helped you guys be able to grind, grind enough packs. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments down below. But for now, guys, I'm out of here. Peace. Subscribe. Like. It does help me out a ton. And I'm out of here. Peace.